Bradycardia. The term bradycardia means a slow heart rate, usually defined as fewer than 60 beats per minute. For a slow heart rate to occur, there must either be a problem with the SA node, which is a group of cells located in the wall of the right atrium of the heart. These cells have the ability to spontaneously produce an electrical impulse, or there must be a block somewhere in the conduction system. A decrease in SA node firing rate can be a normal physiological response or the result of ischemia, certain drugs, or increased vagal tone. Increased vagal tone refers to increased activity of the vagus nerve, which provides the parasympathetic input to the heart. The parasympathetic nervous system slows heart rate, while the sympathetic nervous system increases heart rate. How would bradycardia secondary to a slow SA node look on electrocardiogram? The P wave should appear normal, and the PR interval, which indicates the conduction of the impulse, should also appear normal. The difference in sinus bradycardia would be that the rate would be slowed. The number of P and QRS complexes per unit time will be decreased, but they will appear normal in configuration. Abnormal conduction, heart block. In heart block, the sinus node pulses away at its normal rate, but the conduction is blocked somewhere along the route to the ventricles. The block can occur in the AV node, in the bundle of his or in the bundle branches. There are four types of heart block. First degree, second degree morbids type 1, second degree morbids type 2, and third degree, also known as complete heart block. How would AV block manifest on electrocardiogram? The PR interval represents the time that the impulse travels through the AV node. PR interval usually decreases in length with faster heartbeat and increases with slower heartbeat. In general, when the PR interval increases to greater than 0.20 seconds, the PR interval is said to be prolonged and the patient is said to have first degree incomplete heart block. Thus, first degree block is defined as a delay of conduction from the atria to the ventricles, but not actual blockage of conduction. Second degree heart block is further divided into two types of blocks. In Morbitz type 1, the PR interval progressively increases until finally an atrial impulse is not conducted at all. This leads to a pause, followed by a normally conducted beat, and then the cycle repeats. In Morbitz type 2, the AV node does not conduct some proportion of incoming atrial impulses to the ventricles. This causes ventricular beats to be intermittently dropped entirely. Complete AV block, third degree block. When the condition causing poor conduction in the AV node or AV bundle becomes severe, complete block of the impulse from the atria into the ventricles occurs. In this instance, the ventricles spontaneously establish their own signal, usually originating in the AV node or AV bundle. Therefore, the P waves become disassociated from the QRST complexes. Note that the rate of rhythm of the atria in this electrocardiogram is about 100 beats per minute, whereas the rate of ventricular beat is less than 40 per minute. Furthermore, there is no relation between the rhyme of the P waves and that of the QRST complexes because the ventricles have escaped from control by the atria, and they are beating at their own natural rate, controlled most often by rhythmical signals generated in the AV node or AV bundle. Treatment can either increase rate directly, beta agonists such as isoproterenol, or implantation of a pacemaker, or decrease inhibition, anticholinergics such as atropine, which decrease parasympathetic stimulation of the heart. Implantation of a pacemaker is usually necessary for second degree morbids type 2 or third degree heart block. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.